Okay, my name is Andy Sandham and welcome to this super quick HoloLens setup that so far has taken me about three and a half hours. So, uh, basically we want to make sure, the first thing we want to do is we want to download uh, Unity 2017.2.1. There's a reason behind that is because the latest uh, and most up-to-date toolkit package uh, from, sorry, HoloKit Holo toolkit package from Microsoft is 2017 2.1 which you will be downloading in a bit but most importantly because this is where I ran into issues later on so I am redoing the start it's very exciting um, is that 2017 2.1 we want to make sure that you run the unity installer for God's sake don't run that unity installer okay so um, what happens here is that we uh, you can see the various versions I've been downloading over the period of six and a half hours uh, so if we click on that allow it to make a change to our device so basically i'm now adding to my endless list of unity installations for the various projects that i have been creating over the last 78 years so uh that's good i accept the terms of service um so Unit 2017.2.1, this is really important. This is again where I run some issues. You, If you use the install, you get access to everything you need to install. Uh, and so we also need, we need Windows Store.net and we need Windows Store IL2 CPP. Make sure those two things are clicked, otherwise you will have a nightmare. So only 3.4 gigs, uh, that's all good. Um, so, also the other thing is you want to make sure that you are, I've already created this folder, but don't overwrite, you, you're going to need to put in a new folder name if you're having uh, different versions of Unity on your machine, so otherwise it will overwrite your latest version. So I've made a new folder called 2017.2.1, you can tell it's me that's made it because I've put a underscore in there. Uh, and then it's going to reinstall over this package now, uh, and then with those two Microsoft elements clicked, we should be set up to proceed further into this nightmare. Okay, so Unity has now installed on the computer. So let's launch it. So I'm going to make a new project just to set it up. Hello, so you can see how I set it up, I should say. Set up two. Okay, so it's just putting itself together. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we uh, we want to make sure we've downloaded this Unity package, which I previously downloaded, because um, we're going to uh, unpack that. So if we go to Import Package, Custom Package, <coughs> Uh, I'm just going to have a look for what I put it. So, give me one second. So, I've put it in here, but I should just point out that I tend to keep uh, uh, my Unity projects I'm working on on my hard drive because sometimes it has a hernia when it's attempting to find files if you're using an external drive. Uh, so you can then copy your Unity projects off onto an external drive for backup, but always, I would always suggest for, for speed and convenience keeping a copy on your hard drive. So here it is, Holo Toolkit. So just decompressing this, so I shall just uh, turn this off at the risk of boring myself. So I should just uh, make a note that you, sh you want to, when the package gives you the option to import, import all. Uh, and now probably is a good time to mention that you should have your HoloLens plugged in to your computer and what you want to do is once you've logged in on your HoloLens you want to go to settings, update and security and you want to turn your developer mode on so that it will recognize uh, that you are connected. Okay, so let's just see how long this is going to take. So it's in the post. 
So once that package is installed, you'll know you know you have now got a Hollow Toolkit folder in your assets. So uh, and most importantly, this is a vast improvement on previous versions of the Windows Hollow Lens Toolkit. Is you've got this lovely little menu up here. So what you want to do is uh, you want to go to Configure uh, and you want to apply Mixed Reality Project Settings. Apply. You get a little compiling scripts, which means things are good. Uh, and then we want to configure and we want to uh, apply the scene settings again apply all that and you'll note now that we've got a mixed reality camera parent which is all good news this is all nicely set up uh, and I'm gonna this is universal windows protocol capability settings um, we don't need that at the minute so uh, the next step is we want to be okay so what's this Okay, so maybe that might be because it's not turned on. The holo lens, I'm just going to turn it on. Okay, so obviously you can't see my holo lens screen. Ah, uh, right. So build settings is the next thing we need to do. Um, so we want it to be on Universal Windows Platform, not PC, Mac, and Linux. Universal Windows Platform. That's the boy. Uh, target device HoloLens build type D3D. Yes, make sure it is D3D. Um, debugging. So th this option you want to click on here, which means that it'll send our C sharp uh, projects out to Virtual Studio, to Visual Studio, uh, which you won't have this option available unless you've installed all the correct components, which I took you through at the start. This is where I fell over when I was previously going through this tutorial. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. So let's build. That all looks good. So it's going to export a C sharp file. So let's just make a new folder called Visual Studio Files. Okay. Well, let's just select the folder. Yep. Okay, so it's now building. So I'll just let it build for a moment. Okay, so I just cancelled that build because I forgot that I frequently forget is you need to add open scenes. <coughs> so I haven't saved my scene yet, so uh, that's why it's bringing up this option. So assets, I want to make a folder called scenes. Otherwise, you'll get very confused further down the line. Let's call it hollow please work oh work okay so uh, that's all good this is clicked on this 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 yeah let's go for it okay so uh, yeah that's fine it's just saving it into the visual studio folder and now it's starting to build okay so I don't know whether that's actually done it let's have a look Okay, so the last build failed, and that is uh, due. So I've got a null reference exception down here, I believe. Um, so what I did is I updated all the Windows drivers in the SDK, the Source Development Kit for Windows, which was a bit of a nightmare because again that took about another six hours. But um, so how you get to that? If you're having those issues, then um, it's apps. Apps and so you got your Windows settings, apps and features, uh, and then you can go to Visual Studio. So this is the one I've got installed, I believe it's the one I've got installed. And so if you go to modify here, um, we can have a look at what we have available in the options here. Uh, that might take a while. So so that'll bring up uh, your, again, you click on your modify again here. Uh, and this is what I had to basically uh, update. So you might want to also update these to the latest, which is this one. So I also updated this independently. So if you've got Windows 10, update this as well. Uh, so well, I don't need to update these because I have, this is the important line, Universal Windows App Development Tools. That's what you need. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's close that. Yes, I do, thanks. Uh, and so if we go to build, so I've just done a build, so I'll just do another build. Um, 
so I've put it in Visual Studio tests so let's just do a build um, and you'll see it popping up with a little build window here in a moment here we are so I'll just leave that for a few seconds like 200 okay so once you have done your build uh, it will output it to this is the, the file that, folder that I chose so uh, we just basically need to click on this the .slm um, so we want to open it in Visual Studio 2017 which is actually a different version of the studio where I downloaded all the SDKs just to confuse everything but ignore me let's just open this so you might need to sign into this um, and then okay so then we're going to need to install some more software because uh, this is the first time I've opened um, Visual Studio so these are specifics between Unity and Visual Studio I'm presuming so let's uh, just wait a few more minutes or possibly hours that was a quick uh, set up uh, relatively or comparatively so uh, that was about 45 minutes so maybe my internet connection is made out of cheese or uh, my hard drive is made out of glue we don't know but anyway so let's try clicking on this and see what happens actually that's what we want to happen so it's now loading the C sharp file we hope I've turned on the HoloLens. The HoloLens turns itself off automatically after uh, what appears to be 0.2 seconds. So I have to keep restarting it and logging in every few minutes. So we're loading the HoloLens setup 2, which is my project. As you see here, and you see here. It's not an enormous project, but um, as I say, it does appear my hard drive is made out of cheese okay so developer mode yeah yeah I don't care anymore just install anything uh, right okay so basically I've set up the uh, these settings up here to x86 and device which is not telling me how HoloLens is just telling me device because I've connected the HoloLens with a cable to my computer so it'll build <coughs> and then it will ask you for a pin so uh, I need to go to my developer settings on the HoloLens and then I'll type the pin in here and this should in theory attach it to my HoloLens which should in theory be the last step but somehow I doubt that but let's wait and see okay back in a minute okay so miracle of miracle uh, it is actually working I saw the unity logo pop up in the hololens so uh, to stop the uh, build on your hololens press stop and then it'll return you back to the menu in the hololens so now you should be all set up for development it's only taken a few hours but there you go that's my gift to you thanks goodbye